this lab is about the properties of Laplace transform using MATLAB function. So, the main objective of this lab is to verify different properties of Laplace transform by using MATLAB. The first most important property of Laplace transform is linearity. Linearity property states that if x1 of s is the Laplace transform of x1 of t and x2 of s is the Laplace transform of x2 of t there are two signals x1 of t and x2 of t and we take Laplace transform of both signals. In that case if we multiply these signals by any scalar quantities like a1 and a2 the following property stands and the property states that by multiplying x1 of t with a1 and x2 of t with a2 means we have to multiply a first signal with a scalar quantity and the second signal with an other scalar quantity and after adding those signals we will take Laplace transform the answer will be equal to Laplace transform multiply by scalar quantity of first signal and the Laplace transform of second signal multiply by second scalar quantity and we add up both of them and will get the same result as stated in the left hand side. So how can we verify this property of Laplace transform in MATLAB? So first of all we need two signals x1 of t and x2 of t and two scalar quantities a1 and a2 we can assume any scalar quantity like 2 3 4 any value after assuming these signals and these scalar quantities we will simply multiply the first signal with a1 and the second signal with a2 then we will sum up these two signals and apply Laplace transform on the result. The result should be equal to right hand side. So here is the code. How can we verify? So here you can see there are two signals x1 which is exponential minus t e power minus t and the second signal is cos of t and we are assuming two scalar quantities a1 which is equal to 3 and a2 which is equal to 4. As you can see on the left hand side we need to find the Laplace of a1 x1 plus a2 x2. So first of all we will multiply a1 into x1 plus a2 into x2. Now we have the result stored in this variable. We will find the Laplace of this variable which is Le. After finding the Laplace now we have left hand side. Then we will calculate the right hand side. Right hand side states capital X1 of S means firstly we need to find the Laplace transform of X1 signal. After finding the Laplace we will multiply it with a1 and similarly for the second signal here you can see x1 is equal to Laplace of x1 and capital X2 is equal to Laplace of x2 and after multiplying it with scalar quantities we will find the value of right side after running this script you can see left hand side and right hand side generates the same expression so in this way we can prove 
or verify the first property of Laplace transform which is linearity. Now we will move towards second property which is time shifting. Time shifting property states that if we have a Laplace x of s which is actually a Laplace of x of t. If we time shifts our signal like we are shifting our signal x of t u of t to t naught. So here you can see we are shifting our signal x of t to t naught and u of t to t naught. In that case its Laplace will be multiplied by an exponential. You can see the Laplace of simple signal multiplied by with an exponential e power minus s t naught. So the procedure will remain same. Firstly we have to find the left hand side and then we can cross check it with right hand side. So we are assuming here two symbolic variables and value of t naught is equal to 2. Here we are finding the left hand side by assuming our signal is cos t u of t. So we are shifting our cos t to t naught and unit step function to again t naught. Then we will take the Laplace of this term. Laplace of this term should be equal to the right hand side and right hand side is Laplace of x of t multiplied by with an exponential. So here you can see firstly we will find the Laplace of x of t here you can see cos of t multiplied by u of t as we know unit step function has a value of 1. So we are finding the Laplace of cos of t and after finding the Laplace we are multiplying it with exponential minus s multiplied by t naught and t naught is actually the value of time shift. After running this script we can see the result that left hand side is equal to right hand side and this states that time shifting property exists in Laplace transform. In this way you can verify time shifting property of Laplace transform. Then the third property is complex frequency shifting. As its name states that it is a shift in complex frequency. And what is a complex frequency? We used S and S is actual a complex frequency. So in that case we will shift the complex frequency. Here you can see we have a simple signal x of t u of t and its Laplace is x of s. If we shift complex frequency by multiplying our original signal with exponential s naught of t and s naught is basically value of complex frequency shifting. In this case our resultant will be Laplace with a shift of S0. So again we have to assume a value of S0 and in the same way previously we used to verify the property by finding the left hand side and right hand side we can see the result of both sides. If the results are same we can state that this proves the complex frequency shifting property of Laplace transform. Sample codes are given here and we already 
practice this in the previous lab by finding the Laplace of different signals here you just need to cross check whether the left hand side is equal to right hand side if both sides are equal in that case you can say this property is verified in our existing Laplace transform so the next property is time scaling time scaling property states if we multiply time with a scalar quantity b where b is greater than 0 in that case its Laplace or its answer will be like this means complex frequency will be divided by that scalar number and the whole result will be divided by scalar number so how can we prove that first of all we need to find x of bt means we will multiply t with this scalar number b and after finding this signal we will take the Laplace transform of this term and in the similar way we will find the right hand side in right hand side after finding the Laplace we simply substitute s with s over b as we have already used this substitute function to replace a variable with an other value and after running this script we can see here the left hand side is equal to right hand side the next property is differentiation in s domain this property states that if we have a signal x of t and after taking its Laplace transform we will get x of s so if we multiply our signal x of t with minus t power n in that case we will get the nth order derivative of x of s so in that case first of all we need to find the left hand side and afterwards we will calculate right hand side and we'll check the results if both results are same in that case we can say this property exists in Laplace transform and we can verify it through MATLAB so for the left hand side we just took a simple signal exponential of t x and then multiplied this x with minus t power 5 as it is stated here minus t power n and we are assuming n is equal to 5 so after finding this complete expression we will take its Laplace by using built in function and store the result in L afterwards we will find x of s and we know x of s is the Laplace transform of x of t so here we pa will pass x into Laplace function and uh, here you need a slight changing the x will be on the left hand side will be capital one so the x of t after taking it, its Laplace the result will be stored in the capital X so here you need to change small x into capital X after taking its Laplace we need to find its nth derivative and we already knew to take derivative we use this function for differential in this differential we will pass x which is Laplace of x of t and its order order is n which was 5 so in this way we can find the left hand side and right hand side if I run this script in MATLAB so here you can see 
a get result left hand side is equal to minus 120 over s minus 1 power 6 and similarly right hand side which is also equal to left hand side so in this way we can state that this property of Laplace transform is verified